Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Ninas. You are now watching 120 Days to Jam. This is a series containing 120 videos to prepare you for jam. Each episode of the series contains introduction, outline, detailed class, questions, and homework for you. The questions and homework are from the Flash Learners Jam application. Install Flash Learners Jam app today to access all the free features. Click activate and scroll to buy activation key to get access to the golden features. Don't be scared, the app is affordable. Do you have trust issues? Simply chat me directly on Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Telegram for installation and activation instruction. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take off. One and, one one and 20 days, days to jump phases. Episode number five. The questions we shall be solving in this episode require a little touch of common sense, a touch of patience, and a touch of enthusiasm. It is a very, very important question. And it cuts across different topics in physics and even in mathematics. At the end of this class, you should understand displacement, differentiation, velocity, and motion. Look at this from the Flash Learners Jam application. It says the displacement of a lorry is given as displacement is equals t to the power of 3 minus 2t squared minus 4t plus 7. This is the displacement of a lorry such that s is in meters. So the displacement is everything here meters. meters at what time time is equals question will the lorry be momentarily at rest at what time will the lorry be at rest a car is moving what time will the car be at rest the lorry will be momentarily at rest when velocity is zero. Now, what is the relationship between displacement and velocity? Displacement over time is equals velocity. Change in displacement over time is equal velocity. And change in velocity over time is equals acceleration when you differentiate displacement with respect to time you get velocity when you differentiate velocity you get acceleration taking us to differentiation but look at why i said this question requires wisdom it says at what time will the glory be at rest the lorry will be at rest when velocity is zero. And we said that to get velocity from displacement, we differentiate displacement, which is ds over dt. It simply means differentiate displacement with respect to time. So instead of velocity, we have ds dt, because ds dt is equals velocity. And if it is at rest, after differentiating this velocity, it must be equal to zero. Equals zero. This is everything about the question. The S is the same thing as when you differentiate t raised to the power of 3 minus 2 t squared minus 4 t plus 7 with respect to time. So when you differentiate it with respect to time, it equals 0. So the S over dt is equals differentiating here. When you differentiate t raised to the power of 3, what do you have? 
to the present series power of three, you simply bring the three here, then you subtract one from three. That is three times t is the power of three minus one. Use the power to multiply the the function, then you subtract one from the power. So three times t is three t, three minus one, two. So when you differentiate three t three t t raised to power three, you get three t squared. So this is equals three t squared minus differentiating two t squared. Use the power to multiply everything here. That is two times two t. You subtract one from the power, two minus one. This will give you four t. So differentiating that, you will get four t. So here is four t. The next one is minus four t. Minus four t or four t. When you differentiate four t, you will get four. When you differentiate two s, you get s. How? This is 4t, the same thing as t raised to the power of 1, right? Using 1 to multiply everything here, it will be 1 times 4t raised to the power of 1. Subtracting 1 from the power, 1 minus 1. So this is 4t raised to the power of 0. And any meaningful number raised to the power of 0 is 1. 4 times 1, 4. So we have 4. So when you differentiate t raised to the power of 3, you get 3t squared. When you differentiate 2t squared, you get 4t. When you differentiate 4t, you get 4. And when you differentiate a constant, you get 0. A whole number, when you differentiate it, is 0. If you differentiate 5, 0. Differentiate 100, 0. Differentiate 1000, you get 0. So, ds over dt is equals 3t squared minus 4t minus 4. This is the velocity. And we said that the body will be at rest when velocity is zero. It simply means the lorry will be momentarily at rest when 3t squared minus 4t minus 4 is equals zero. This brings in another topic. This brings in another topic which you didn't see coming. It introduces us to <laughs> quadratic, quadratic equation. This is a question from the legend. Now, big boys don't give up. You don't see log questions and say, ah, it's too difficult. No. You ask yourself, is it solvable? Yes. If solvable, you solve. You don't give up. So when you are solving questions, you simply enjoy them. Be open-minded. Learn. The good news is, after solving this question, anytime you see questions like this, you'll be able to answer them. Just keep practicing, keep rehearsing, keep learning. Trust me. You will be very very good to go. So we are now left with <laughs> minus four t minus four is equals zero. I also have videos on quadratic equations for you to learn very well. You can check the Flash Analysis Mathematics playlist. But for the purpose of this, I will teach you how to solve quadratic equation using factorization. So this is you look for this is minus four t. You look for two numbers that when you add, you get minus 4. When you multiply, you get 12. 3 times 4, 12, you get minus 12. These are the two numbers you will look for. When you take a look at minus 6 and 2, minus 6 plus 2. Is equals minus 4 minus 6 times 2 is equals 12 so minus 6 and 2 will work 3 t squared then use the numbers to replace here 3 t squared minus 6 t plus 2 t minus 4 is equals 0 we've not changed anything because minus 6 t plus 2t is the same thing as minus 4t. Factorizing, we bring out these two and we bring these two together. 
What is common between 3t squared and 6t? It is 3t. So when you bring out 3t, you are left with 3t squared divided by 3t is t minus 6t divided by 3t, that is 2 plus here yeah, 2t and minus 4, they have 2 in common, so plus 2 2t divided by 2, t remains minus 4 divided by 2, is two. everything here is equal 0 this and this are similar, we pick 1 t minus 2 then 3t and plus 2 outside 3t plus 2 so everything is equal 0 from here it means t minus 2 is equal 0 or 3t plus 2 is equal 0 so from here t is equals 2 when you take minus 2 to the other side from here t is equals minus 2 over 3 so those are the two possible times when the lorry will be momentarily at rest however time cannot be negative we don't use minus of time so we go with two seconds now the lorry will be momentarily at rest at two seconds option c is the correct option ladies and gentlemen I hope you found this helpful and your homework for today they are very very many only open your flash in jam app go to question search search motion begin to answer as many questions as possible because to whom what is given should not run away with it see you in the next episode